Hello everybody, my name is Last Night I Dream, and welcome back to another LEGO video. Today we're going to be reviewing the 3-in-1 Birdhouse. Uh, this set is going to be a little bit different because it's a 3-in-1. I'm going to do all three. I'm going to build the beehive, and then the park bench, and then the birdhouse. This set is for ages 8 and up. The set number is 31143, and it comes with 476 pieces. All right, inside the box, we have three sets of instructions. We have park bench, beehive, and a bigger one for the birdhouse. We've got a big and a small bag one, and a small and a big bag two. So anyway, I'm gonna start off with the beehive. Okay, and that was the beehive, and here we have our little beehive right here, and there's a little spiky here where you can get some honey out. And the lid opens up, and there's like a honeycomb that you can take out with the bee on each side, and then that slots right back in. Roof sits on top nice and snug. Uh, there's a little pool of honey that can go right under the spigot, and there's also this little bush here with some flowers and some bees, which are pretty well designed. I think they're pretty cute. And of course, lots of extra pieces. Okay, and here's our bench. We have a squirrel and I think it's a porcupine. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but maybe a hedgehog. It's kind of hard to tell, but we, that's definitely a squirrel and that's an apple. The apple is actually really cool. I like the apple and I like these little chains here on the, uh, the bench. Looks pretty nice. And I like that there's little details of like flowers and grass along the outside of the bench. That's pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't really build this and display it and keep it, but I mean, definitely that squirrel looks really, really cool. I love the squirrel and the tail, especially that's really well designed. All right, and that was the birdhouse. We have our little birdhouse here, and we, there's a little chick inside hatching out of an egg. And there's a door here with uh, one big egg in the nest. Uh, and right here, there's this little hangy bit for like a little bird feeder. I think that's a really cool detail that that's hanging off. And plenty of little perches for all the different birds to go. So we have a little green bird here. His beak is unique from all the other ones, and I really like that. And we have the yellow one here. He's really cute. We got this blue one here. I really like the use of the yellows and all the different blues and greens all together. It looks so pretty. And we've got this cardinal here. Uh, I like the fact that they use a little pink piece. Uh, Lego likes to add in and hide a lot of pink pieces in their sets. And we got a brown one here too. And there is um, some extra studs that you can put in your bird feeder. I'm just choosing not to because I don't ascribe to loose pieces. So I definitely feel like the birdhouse is the best one. That's why I saved it for last because I wanted this one to be the build that I actually displayed on my shelves because I really like these birds. I think they're really, really cute. And I also just like the birdhouse that gives them like something to stand on. There was this ideas bird set. Uh, that one right now is really, really expensive and it's very hard to get. Okay, so for price, this set is $30 which isn't too bad. I give this like a nine out of 10. I don't really think it needed anything more. It's not really lacking anything. I mean, it's about a $30 set. It's not bad. It's not, it's not badly priced. It's not overpriced. It's not underpriced. It's just right. So for the build itself, there are three different ones and I'm going to rate them each. Beehive, I give an eight out of 10. It was pretty cute and it had a lot of cool little details and designs that I really liked. 
The bench, I give it like a six out of five because I feel like there's not really any sort of substance to it. It's just kind of there. It's like it's missing something almost. So like it's not, it's not that good. It's not the one that I would display. The birdhouse, I give a nine out of 10. I really like this build, honestly. And I love that there's five different and unique birds and each of them have something slightly different about them that makes them all unique. So I love that. And I just love the little detail that there's like a little chick hatching inside there and then there's another egg it's just it's really cute overall they were all pretty fun to build the only problem is the fact that there was a lot of pieces to sort through anytime you wanted to build either this one or this one you've got a lot of extra pieces so like i mean i understand why it is the way it is it's just that was something that i struggled with and if you want this set i would suggest not building the other two small ones and just go straight into building this one if this is the one you're going to want to end up with my suggestion is just build this in the bagged order instead of dumping them all together and doing these smaller ones and taking them apart again it was not very fun to take apart and build these two they looked okay but like if you're not going to have them as your final result it's not worth doing that just go straight to the one you want and that's it because otherwise it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> the only reason I did it is because I wanted to review all of them so you guys got a full review. So overall, I give it a nine out of 10 because there are options. There are three different options that you can go with, you know? So I think that's really nice that they have options like that. But also just the main design of the birdhouse looks, wow, it's fantastic. I really, really like this set. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.